Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Publisher. What I want to show you in this module is how to create a catalog from scratch on a blank piece of paper, if you like. So here's Publisher opened on the Home tab, and I'm going to use this blank paper here. So to create a catalog, you need two things. You need the end product, which is the Publisher document, and you need a data source. So let's get started. First of all, up to the Insert tab. This is where you can have your catalog pages. So insert catalog pages. Then it inserts a series of stacked pages. And this number of pages is dependent on how many products you have in your list. If you've just got one or two products, it might only be one page. If you've got hundreds, it will be many, many pages. And these pages don't appear until you finally complete the merge to a new document or an existing document or the printer. So don't worry too much about what you're looking at at the moment because it's not really anything you can do until you create your list or add a list from a pre-populated source. So once you've inserted the catalog pages, you can see on the left it says add list. You've got the same three options that you would maybe be familiar with in, in Word. Type a new list, use an existing list or use a list from Outlook contacts. For this example, I want to type a new list, so I'm clicking on that, and then you get these default fields. So product, I'm just going to use um, training products like access, um, three levels, give it an ID, you don't have to give it an ID, price £250 per person, and the picture, I'll insert picture later on, and then we'll go for Word, same thing, three levels. So you just create your database source there, and this then will be will form part of your catalog. Um, Excel, type it right. Excel, three levels. Now, if any of these um, fields that you're typing in are not correct, you can change them by going down the bottom here to customize columns, or you can add extra columns if you wish, if the columns are not suitable for what your products are. Um, PowerPoint, I'll just do this last one, PowerPoint, two levels, item four. So there's the four items, like so. And down the bottom there, you've got customized columns. So this is where you could maybe add a column or delete a column if you didn't want that column or rename a column. So I will add a column, just call it location for argument's sake. And I don't want it there. Let's move it down to the end. Location, click OK. And then you've got that at the end there that you can type in there. So let's say these courses all go in leads except for the last one which can be in Derby so once you've completed your list you click OK and then it will ask you to save it and you can see I've got one there called courses I previously did I'll just overwrite that one yeah so now you then see what you have typed and you see the name there now if you need to edit or add anything to this list you have to click on this where it says courses MDB and then edit and it will bring you back into that same little table that you was typing in a minute ago. Click OK to that. I didn't do anything so I can leave that as it is. So in this view you've got little drop down arrows on every column that you've got these options on. You can sort it, you can um, filter things out. So if three levels or two levels, those are the two options in this column. Price will all be the same but um, product will be different. You can filter the products out like so. You've got sort options, you've got filter options, find duplicates and find product. All these features are very similar to what you would get in a Word mail, mail merge or even a pro, uh, publisher mail merge. Clicking OK to that. Now, what you have here is some layout options. So depending on how you want your catalog to look when you finally do the merge, you select one of these options. So if I want three entries per page, I would click on that option and then it gives me 
the three entries per page like so now you can move these around these are just boxes text boxes so you can if you don't like the layout you can change all this around but let's just um, zoom this up so we can see what it says so it's got on the on the right there name of product or service so this is where you start inserting your field so there's a the product and I'm going to change the font on that one just make that a bit not a bit bigger a lot bigger and then next box down is your where you want to put the um, description from your field so we're going to insert the description field just get back to the format tab and then we're back to where we've got our field so description goes in there and again you can change the font if you so wish but I'm not going to and then the price is on this one and you can select location from there as well now to see all of these you need to click on the preview results option so what I want to do in there is put a bit of a label in there because I don't like that sitting like that price per course is 250 pound plus VAT location for location for the course is leads and then description levels this course has three levels now I could and then the picture you've got the picture option there with nothing in it but you've got a location for the folders where you have your pictures so I need to add a folder because they're not in there so add and the folder I created was called publisher and that's got the icons that I need for this when I do the merge so that's selected okay and then you've got the the same information repeated further down now obviously this is a very basic example of what you've got here and it is not looking too good you've got you've got pages in front of that where you can do your normal text boxes and um, picture frames and all the sort of stuff that you would normally do in publisher I don't know why I picked that but I just did so you can format all the pages before and after if you've got any in the catalog pages but the final the final step that you you should be doing is you're doing the, the merge to one of these three things merge to a new document you're going to add it to an exist, exist, existing document or print it so let's say that we're happy with this we click on merge to new document and then it creates a new document and depending on how many items you've got on your list and we didn't have many it will create the the catalog as you can see there now the pictures if I click on the picture from file it should let me insert the pictures from the publisher file so that was access insert and this is word insert and this is Excel insert Excel like so and I had a fourth one what's that PowerPoint PowerPoint insert so my my catalog series created four um, items so there's two pages of the catalog but if I if I put all the courses down that I do there'll probably be a couple more pages added on to the end there and obviously you'd want to put a lot more description and a lot more description about the location but that would have to go in your database fields or you could just type it like I did there and just bring in the minimal amount of information so that's basically how you create a catalog and how you then finally merge the catalog once you've once you've added your fields into the relevant places and then this is the end product of that 
and you can keep going back to the the other document so this is a, a separate document if I just close this control W to close this I'm not going to save it you've still got this source document so this this would be the document that you would save this would be the document that you would keep adding extra items in and then you would just run the merge again and it would add the extra items in so that's how it works create your own catalog in Microsoft Publisher so I hope you've enjoyed that and thank you for your time